very, very good. So today, guys, I just wanted to make a video for you guys because these are questions that have been asked um, more than once. And so I figured um, one of the one of you guys asked me um, these questions and um, I figured these are questions that have not been um, asked. They've been asked, let's just say more than once. So thank you guys so much for your questions. I really, really, truly appreciate it. Um, it just really, really encourages me truly because I know that you guys are trying your best. You guys want to know and if the questions weren't coming, that means um, I don't know, maybe you weren't working or something like that. I'm not really sure. I mean, I don't want to think that way, right? Because um, you know why you entered this business. But for me personally, I just feel that when I'm asked questions, it just really encourages me and lets me know that you guys do want to know more. So I wanted to record these questions so that you guys could know them and you guys can go back to them if you ever forget. Um, don't ever think that you can not um get a hold of me or get a hold of miss amy just because it's on recording same thing with the trainings i'm going to be posting trainings and the only reason why i post the trainings on the youtube is for the reason that you guys can always go back and you guys can always um go back and look at that and just because i'm doing the video doesn't necessarily mean that you cannot get a hold of me and you cannot get a hold of miss amy no please do but it's just something that can always also save me time if you go back in there and you look at it so it's just an option for you but I just feel that this is the best way so guys I'm gonna be answering some questions today and I'm gonna start with question number one now question number one was what kind of information do I put outside of my lead bags so lead bags they look like this and they're really really simple guys I do not put a lot of information outside of my lead bags, but as you can see, I'm gonna just put it here to the camera and I'm gonna hold it there for a few seconds just so that you guys can see what it is that it says. And then right now I'm gonna pull it back and I'm gonna read it to you myself. So this is exactly what I put on a lead bag. All I do is I go buy a bag this right here, this right here is a little small envelope. I just cut it in half so that it could be a pocket for these little things right here. And these little paper slips, they are just entered to win. They have a name, email, and phone number. So that is basically all the information that I put on the lead bag because this little paper right here, it says it all. And it says, enter to win. Drop in your business card and fill out an entry form one of these to receive an ultimate pampering session with an exfoliating treatment and a $15 gift card. And then on the bottom, I put must be 18 years of age or older. So I hope that answers your qu y'all's questions. Um, but yes, this is exactly what it is and the information that I put outside of my lead bag. It's very, very simple and, um, it just gives a person a way to sign up and then that's how I get some lead information. Okay, so this is just like super really easy and I attach a pin, very, very ex inexpensive. So that is question number one. Question number two is how do I make gift certificates? Okay guys, I wish I could say that I make gift certificates, but you know what? I like things a little bit more easy for me. So guys, I go buy my gift certificates. Um, I purchased them at um, Office Depot. I think it's that's what it's called, Office Depot. You could probably look them up online, but they look just like this. Now, there is so many different types, and I fill out the information there. And then I just put it in an envelope. And then I'll put like a little sticker, or I'll put um, the person's name with congratulations or something like that. But in answer to that question, I do not make my gift certificates. I buy them. And I buy them with the, the money that I do make in my business. Um, I have my separate um, investment envelope. And what I do is I purchase everything from there. Whatever I want for my business, whatever I want for my boutique, I 
you know, have that money aside and I can spend it. Um, even if it's investment in catalogs, you guys know I do the 100 catalogs a month. Well, it comes out of the money that I hustle, the money that I make. So I just find it easier. Now you can create some on Canva, but that takes a lot more time. But if you just Google gift certificates, Guys, so many things will pop up on Google and praise God for Google. Look on Google and you can see what gift certificates are best for you. So um, there is a lot of beautiful gift certificates on, um, uh, what is that website called? It's mygirlfriendshouse.com. They have so many good sponsoring tools, even beautiful door hangers that you can hang when you go door to door. But let's not get into that. Um, let me just answer the question. So the gift certificates, guys, I do purchase them. I do not make them. But if you want to know where I get these, um, then, well, they're at Office Depot. Another thing that I would really like for you guys to let me know is um, I know that I give you guys rewards and incentives. If you guys can let me know what it is that you would like, I will get those things for you. If you guys want um, sponsoring... Um, well, you know what? Let's not even get into that, guys. Let's just answer the questions. Okay, so what do you do with your flyers? Do you hang them up at a business or leave stacks of them at a business or hand them out to people with your card when you go door to door? So those questions were all together. What do I do with the, the flyers? So basically, I'm assuming that these are the flyers it is that you're talking about because these are the ones that I've been showing you guys that I've been working with, okay? So these flyers that I have, um, I don't hang these up. I give these out. But let me get you the ones that I do hang up. Just a minute. All right, guys. So here it is, guys. This is a flyer that I do hang up. Okay, a flyer like this, I do hang up. This is a copy. Um, what I did was when I printed this out, it doesn't have my information on the bottom. So I kept the copy. That way, when I want to make more of these, I just take this to my local uh, place where they print out stuff and they just make me several copies. So this is my hard copy. But when I'm going to hang up a flyer, these are the flyers that I give out in person. And then these are the flyers that I will pin up. Where do I pin these up? I will go to laundromats. I will ask if I could, um, I, if the owner's there, I'll go to the laundromat and, I'll, and um, I will put it there. Sometimes there's a number to the laundromat. I'll ask. Sometimes there is no number. So me, I just go ahead and tape it there because sometimes they have like a little board or something where you can leave stuff. So obviously in that place, you can already leave stuff, you know, so I go ahead and pin it there on the billboard or wherever I see other pinned papers, I will pin something like this there. Um, now, the other question is, do I leave stacks of flyers at businesses? Um, I don't, I do leave stacks of flyers at businesses and I'll go to restaurants, I'll go to uh, nail shops, um, wherever it is that I feel um, that I can leave, I'll just ask and I'll leave some, but I do not leave excessive stacks. I leave like about maybe 10 of them, a, a small little stack, maybe 10 of them and I put them there. And the reason why I do that is because I don't wanna leave a big stack at a restaurant, like a stack this big. And then I don't know if they're gonna throw it away. I don't, you know, and that's my investment. I am investing. So I, I wanna leave a little amount. I wanna leave a stack, but a little amount that way you know, they're, they're being taken and that's it. The same thing with catalogs. Sometimes I leave catalogs in certain restaurants, but I leave them by threes or fours. I will just leave three or four on the counter so that they can be taken. I don't like to leave um, a lot because if I were, let's just say I leave like 12 books. I really don't know if those books are going to be taken away or maybe somebody, one manager might say yes and then another manager comes in and says just throw them in the trash we we can't have that here you know you know what i mean so that's why i leave them in stacks i do leave them in stacks but in small stacks so maybe like 10 or maybe like seven you know you leave them but in several different places that way they're they're taken away 
And this one too in restaurants, I've asked if I could leave it and they will let me leave it in the restaurant by the door so it could be taken off. As a matter of fact, I've gone to visit uh, one of the restaurants I went to eat. Um, I went out to eat and I was able to see that my flyer was still there that I had posted. And maybe there's about like four or five of them gone. But guys, I went to that restaurant a while back and they have, they're still faithful to leave my information on there. So, hey, you know what? People have been taking my little, like four or five of them have been ripped and there's still some to be taken away. And the, the owners haven't removed it. So that makes me happy. But either way, I, I do that. Um... And then the other question here says, um, do you hand them, do you, let me see, or hand them out to people with your card when you go door to door? Okay, yes. So when I go door to door and I'm handing out flyers, um, this flyer already has my information on the top right corner. So I do not give them a business card unless they ask for one. I will give them one but usually when I just go door to door I hand them the flyer and if they let me talk to them I'll talk to them if not I just present them with a flyer okay so hopefully that answers the questions guys if that doesn't answer the questions of course you guys can always get a hold of me but you know what these are just questions that um are being asked so I'm gonna answer them um question number four says what do you say about Jaffra when you approach a person who answers the door so when I get someone who answers the door uh let me see that I can do this I'm gonna pretend I'm at a door so they answer the door and all I say is hi my name is Marianne and I am a business owner so today I'm here passing out flyers and I am inviting people to start their own business with six dollars and fifty cents and I present them with this now sometimes you get different responses and they'll be like oh wow and you know so you're able to talk um but one of the things that my upline taught me is that maybe that's a good headline to say when i approach but then i should say do you have any questions for me so that's something new that i'm going to start doing because when i was working with her um I had the privilege of working with her uh, during this week and that is the way I saw her and I noticed that there was just a lot more questions when when you uh you know when you tell them and you tell them hey do you have any questions for me you know and then they're like oh well what is this like I've never even heard of Jaffra or they'll be like oh what do you do what do you work with like and you know more questions start being asked so that is something that is a strategy that I'm gonna do but yes typically that's all it is that is how I approach a door and that is what I say um sometimes it will come out a little bit more different um but for the most part it comes out the same and I do smile and uh that's it even though with our mask they really can't see our smile right but uh that's just me when I approach somebody you know I like to smile and be you know in good attitude and just you know just let them know um that they can start a business with six dollars and fifty cents so that is how uh hopefully that answers that question you know about that and then the last one that I was asked was how to get the flyers guys so how to get these flyers how you would get these flyers um all of these flyers jaffra does put them on our jaffra biz uh, com back office so those are the trainings that we're going to be doing they're going to be coming up soon um and so the last question, I'll go ahead and attach the video here because the last question was how do I get the PDF files for the flyers um, that Jaffra has for us. Okay guys, so in order to get any type of files, we're gonna have to go into the internet, obviously. We're gonna go into our back office. So that is going to be www.jafferbiz.com. Mine's already programmed. We're gonna click there. It's gonna take you to this page right here. So once it takes you to this page, you're going to have to put in your consultant's ID and your password. Once that's taken care of, it's gonna take you to this page right here. And so what you're gonna do is you are going to go under the business tab. You're gonna click on the business tab and you're gonna go under sponsoring materials and tools. It's gonna take you to this page right here which is my business hub and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down and you, you see all of this in purple this is all sponsoring tools and materials so i'm gonna show you everything 
All of these are PDF files. So anything you print out or download to your computer, if you have a printer at home, you can print out at home, or um, these are PDF files that you can email to your local DOS or wherever it is that they do printouts for you. But let me show you how to get the Opportunity Flyer. And so you would just download it to the computer. Mine's already on there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the file for you. Press open. And this is what it looks like, guys. This is the one that I just showed you in the video right now. And one of the things that I would tell you is if you're gonna download this flyer right here, you see how right here it has all the information. I would say go ahead and print out this flyer, take the time to write on all your information, and then just make copies of that one that way you're not having to write over and over again now there's another flyer like this it's exactly the same there's one in skincare right here there's skincare and then there's another flyer just like this one that i'll show you where you could get it but it's just going to have fragrances right here in this area so there's not really much of the change it's similar but do you see right here where it says opportunity flyer in skincare and then it says opportunity flyer in fragrance so the only thing that changes is the skincare and the fragrance but the flyers are going to look the same now i'm going to show you how to get an opportunity flyer in bilingual i can show you in english but let me show you in bilingual because this is the one that i prefer that you guys download and this is the one that i prefer that you work with because it has bilingual side by side and so let me just click on it let me open it up so that you guys you guys can see so you see here it's a flyer but i like using this flyer because it's bilingual so it already has everything in english on this side and then you can put your contact information there and then it has everything in spanish on this side and you can put your information there so i prefer that you guys i'm going to show you this flyer because i prefer for you guys to work with this flyer because it has bilingual side by side and um it's just better you can also print it in just english but i prefer you just use this flyer right here but it's not that hard to just go back. All the tabs are here. If you want it in English, then there it is in English, the flyer that I just showed you. So then the next one that I want to show you is this flyer. You guys can also print out this flyer. This flyer is for our veterans, uh, for our military. Jaffra does salute our military. So I'm gonna open up that flyer just so that you guys can see. But here is the flyer. That is what it would look like. And you can also attach your information to this flyer. And um, it already has everything there that they need. So this is another flyer that you can work with. Now, I believe there's one more that I wanted to show you. Okay, the business kit flyers. I wanted to show you the business kit flyers. Here are the business kit flyers that has how much our kits are for the month, which is $6.50. So this is what it will look like. And I like these flyers because it has all the information. So you can actually get a flyer that looks like this. And it has everything they need to know about Jaffra and then bam, right there you have your contact information right here in this area. Then there's another flyer that you can use which is this one right here offering the $99 business kit and then there you go, bam you put your information there. So that is like super easy. So that's those flyers. Now let me show you um, the packs that the consultants can get whenever they sign up um, in the business and they're ready to go full on and get started and make up an investment then you can show them these uh you can make flyers of these sample packs and these are the sample packs that they can get for two hundred dollars so uh that's our mixed pack and then it shows us uh these ones the skincare pack and the fragrance pack and you can also attach information this one doesn't have for information but you can actually print these out and make hard copies so that you carry with them and you you carry them with you and you always have them in hand. So those are all the flyers that you guys can get. Um, just remember that um, in order to get to this, you're gonna get log into your account, you're gonna go under business, you're gonna go under sponsoring materials and tools and just remember purple. 
take the time to click on all these tabs so that you can see but those are the flyers that i wanted to show you and they are in pdf format i really hope this helps you guys hope you enjoyed the video we'll see you next time